So here's my question for Muslims. And if you can answer my question, I will delete my entire channel. Where do we find Muhammad mentioned in the Torah and the Gospel that are with us? Where do we find any clear reference to Muhammad in the Torah and the Gospel that are with us? Show me a clear reference to Muhammad in the Torah and the Gospel that isn't calling Muhammad a false prophet. And I will delete my channel. I just watched this video by David Wood where he's challenging Muslims to prove that Rasulullah is in the Bible. Now the issue with this is that David Wood is very aware that this has already been done. David Wood got destroyed, absolutely trashed, in a debate about that specific matter. Deuteronomy chapter 33 speaks about somebody who will turn up in the land of Haram with 10,000 saints and a fiery law in his right hand. It reads as the following, The Lord came from Sinai and dawned on them from Sinai. He shone forth from Man Quran, and he came with 10,000 saints. From his right hand came a fiery law for them. Absolutely trashed. Hello, hello. Welcome, brother. Hey Rob, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How, what, how about you, my friend? How are you? Like you said, it's a little early, but uh, I'm doing yeah. all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about making a video on Fareed as well, ah, and just okay, kind it. of making it an honest plea to Muslims to yes, stop. Yes, you should, bro. You have to do. You have to do it because you know maybe Rob Christian is lying. Maybe Rob Christian, you know, <laughs> is a deceiver. Maybe you know. Yeah. Who knows? You, I, every, I, I hope that every warrior in Christ, all the Christian apologists have to do this because, you know, a lot of Muslims are getting deceived, my friend. We need to spank these liars and deceivers. Go ahead, bro. Well, uh, speaking of lying, yeah, I was, I was fact checking you about Quran, and yeah. according to the Hebrew and Aramaic lexicon of the Old Testament, it's between Midian and Egypt to be identified with the Sinai Peninsula. So it yeah. seems like you're correct. Whoa, I'm correct? No. Yeah. No but, way. But, Really? But I still, I still wasn't sure. So I checked the <laughs> Dictionary of Classical Hebrew, yeah. which says it's the wilderness area west of Edom and north of Sinai, home of Ishmael. So you're right again. Well, bro, do you see the screen? Do you see the screen? Just to make sure. <laughs> to, uh, oh, wow. But, but, you know, I still wasn't sure. So, <laughs> so I checked the Dictionary of Biblical Languages with Whoa. Semantic Domains, which I'm sure everybody reads before they go to bed at night. <laughs> and it says it's the desert area in Sinai Peninsula. Ah. So you have, you have three scholarly sources that agree with you on the location of Paran, and I could Whoa. cite a whole bunch more. Man, it's a blessing to have you here, brother. <laughs> Thank you. But you know, the, the bigger picture is what's going on in Deuteronomy 33 is part of what scholars call, you'll see it various ways, mm -hmm. Yahweh from the south or Yahweh's march from the south, something like that. Yeah. And it recalls, you know, God coming to the, the salvation of his people. We think about, you know, receiving the law at Sinai and so forth. Yeah. But there are even more problems for Muslims because this is not just Deuteronomy 33. Yes, this march from the south tradition occurs in several other places. So here's yep. Habakkuk 3. All Habakkuk right. 3, 3 says, God came from Taman and the Holy One from Mount Paran. There's Mount Paran again. Wow. And then similar language to Deuteronomy 33. His splendor covered the heavens. The earth was full of his uh, praise. His brightness was like the light rays flashed from before his hand and so forth. Yeah, bro, so here, before, before you continue, I have a question, right? Yes. I, I want you also to confirm who the 10,000 of saints are, because this is from the King James Version. Mm -hmm. are, they the, are they the angels? Is Rob Christian lying? Are they the you angels know, or not? Once again, I, I was doubting you, so I wanted to go back to... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I went back to uh, about 200 B.C., 
and mm -hmm. I looked at the Septuagint, and they actually translate Angelos. It's angels. Wow! Again, so, so again, Whoa. yeah. Oh man, what a shock! <laughs> so here we have in Habakkuk three, you have Taman mm -hmm. mentioned with Paran, and Taman is northwest Edom, which sounds a lot like the location of Paran that you gave, and the ones that I cited from scholarly lexicons. Mm -hmm. So once again. Well, and, and then we have this Yahweh from the South tradition um, occurring as well in uh, Judges 5, 4 through 5. Lord, when you went out from Seir, you marched from the region of Edom, and the earth trembled and the heavens dropped and so forth. So when you factor in the geography of both Deuteronomy 33, Habakkuk 3, and Judges 5, you cannot get to Arabia from there. Yeah. And then the whole argument about, well, let's just take Yahweh out of the text— and yeah. pretend like, like that's a representative, which is what that debater in Fareed's video did without any justification whatsoever. Mm -hmm. When we get to Habakkuk 3, we mm -hmm. actually have an old poetic form of God, Eloah. Yeah. So, so now you're telling me that, that you not only take Yahweh to mean Muhammad, but you take Eloah, an old poetic form for God, to mean Muhammad as well. Yeah. So when you put all these passages together, it's, this whole thing's a joke. <laughs> really, it is, to scholars. Yeah. And I was actually talking to a, um, a, a scholar who teaches um, Hebrew exegesis at a, a seminary, and I, I mentioned some of this stuff to him, and his response was just to laugh. And I, oh, I mean, that, that's what this is. Yeah. This stuff yeah. is a joke. Yeah. And so when, and, and this is to Muslims, when you quote Fareed, when you endorse his videos, yeah. you look as dumb as he is, and that's just being honest and clear about it. Yeah. You know, he and, and, and you stupid. saw the video from the beginning, right, my friend? He well, he didn't even try to refute. He only played a seven-old year right. video. Where's the right. refutation? And well, Muslims think, yesterday, maybe if you if you were on the live show of David Wood, they were they were saying Farid has just destroyed your Allah Akbar. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That they need to oh, to stop doing oh, that. Man, but I think man. the refutation is in. For Muslims, honestly, I think the refutation is in the way Fareed twirls around in his chair confidently. Yeah. I honestly think that's the refutation. He he's so confident that this yeah. has been refuted. Oh, it must be true. Yeah. But when you actually and when you watch that video, I think when they cite Deuteronomy 33, they actually put Quran in parentheses question mark. Yeah. As if what God is bringing with him yeah. is the Quran. It's just stupid referring to Deuteronomy 33 4. So. Once again, I mean, how so we say can it? just to to in a nutshell, <laughs> Paran is in let's say as the the screen said in in this area, the south of today's Israel. So it's northern Arabia. That's point number one. Point number two, the ten thousand are the angels. The ten thousand mm -hmm. saints are the angels. These are not Abduls. <laughs> <laughs> These are not the companions of Muhammad, and Muhammad is certainly not God. When you're going to say he's God, that means you're committing shirk. You're nothing but a blasphemer like Farida yesterday, right? Yeah, that, that, that's and, right. And what's your, what's your point of view about the merciful servant who said, uh, Isaiah 42, 13, is Muhammad removing the Lord? What's your point of view about that, uh, Brother Colin? Well, I'm, I'm actually going to do a video on that because... You know, here, here's the thing. When, when, when Satan tempts Jesus, mm -hmm. he quotes from Psalm 91 right mm -hmm. up until the point where he says he's going to get his butt kicked, and then he stops. Mm -hmm. That's how Muslims quote the Bible. They just they quote what they want, and when they encounter a, pro a problematic passage mm -hmm. for their thesis, they just leave it out. So, Colin, who is, so, who, is, who is corrupting the Bible? The Christians and the Jews or the Muslims? Yeah, exactly. It's it's the Muslims. And I think exactly. when they Thank say you. the Bible is corrupted, what that basically means is that it's a clean slate and they can write into it whatever mm -hmm. they want. And somehow that is supposed to carry convincing authority, which apparently it does for many Muslims, unfortunately. But, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to add to that. And actually, after you post this video, I'll post those um, lexicons in the Please comment do. section. Please do. 
if you want. And uh, it's yeah. you know some of it's Hebrew, so it might not post very well, but it'll be there for for what it's worth. So, bro, I enjoy your videos. I always support and watch your videos. You are a very dear brother of mine. God bless you. God bless your loved ones and family, your wife, your child, I, I, your children if you have more than one. God bless you and keep doing what you're doing. Don't let anyone anyone hold you back. Your videos are amazing. Right? Your videos Thanks, are, Rob, and, and you do a, a great job and uh, look forward to hearing more of your stuff. Thank you, my friend. God bless your ministry and looking forward to talk to you uh, in a future live show again. God bless you. Uh, talk to you soon. Thank you for calling. God bless. Farid just called his prophet Muhammad and prophet written with an eye. You know why, guys? He just called his prophet God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. You just became a mushrik and an apostate in 2020. So Farid, are you going to repent publicly, Farid? Are you going to do it? Because you had the audacity to upload a video without any clue, without any knowledge, playing a video without any clue, without any knowledge, a seven year old video and think that's the refutation of Mr. David Wood. Are you going to repent publicly? I'm sure you're going to do that. Absolutely trashed.